morning and I'm finally back with another video. Today I'm going to be baking cookies. Uh, it's for my 12 hour live stream that I'm doing later on Twitch and I hopefully will be uploading this the day that I'm doing the stream and it is at 5pm. So if you're going to be there make sure to go watch it and we're going to enjoy the cookies that I'm going to be making. So today we've got Smarties because I couldn't find any sugar chips and I couldn't be bothered when I went into Tesco's. I've got my ingredients out. I'll also put up the list of ingredients here, right there, right there. See, they should be there right now with a list of measurements and stuff. So hopefully, editor me has already prepared that for you. But let's get on to baking. Hello, we? this is a really weird angle of me and basically the camera can't go anywhere. So that's great. So, Smarties, like I've already shown you. You won't see my face in this bit, but that's a good thing. I've got butter, which is salty. I don't think it matters very much. I've got bicarbonate of soda. Wow, I've got golden pasta sugar. Wow! <laughs> I don't know what's going on in my calling today. I've got caster sugar. Amazing. The lighting in here is just pain. And then I've got plain flour. Baking. <laughs> I matched the uh, flour bag, you know. Good old Great Britain. Totally don't hate being British. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's just the whole stuff or whatever. I ain't getting into politics. It's... A Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what day of the week is. I'm actually going to try to set up the camera somewhere. I think I might move around baking. Hello. We are now here and I can barely see and you can't see my head, but that's fine. This is literally the worst corner of the room. I could have put you in. There we go. We have some light now. So I'm going to get to weighing. I've already put the ingredients up, hopefully, if I'm that great at editing. Uh, so I'm going to weigh out my stuff. Now, the problem is I don't know the measurements and you're sat right there and you've taken everything. But that's fine, because actually, first, I don't need that. I need to soften this butter. I also need to measure out 120 grams, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's just put this on the thing. Wait, wrong way around. We need to put that there, put that there, and we'll go with it like that. Is it going to... No? <laughs> that's a shambles, lads. Okay. 150, pretty much. So... I'm gonna get a pink little bowl quick. And <laughs> I need a camera person. Anyone who wants to live at my house with me so they can be my cameraman, I would really appreciate you. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I need to do this off the scales. I've also preheated the oven to 180 degrees. Make sure if you're a child, do not, I repeat, do not <laughs> do that alone. Make sure to get an adult to do it. Ooh. Perfect. Oh, it's not perfect, but sure. Okay, well, this is going fabulous because now I've got, I've got, <laughs> this is why I don't record video. <laughs> oh my God, and my Twitch isn't, my webcam doesn't work on my Xbox anymore. So that's fun trying to re record a stream. Well, let's say recording during a stream. Oh, you've dropped the butter! <laughs> it's very echoey in here today. I don't know what's going on. Oh, mate. It's good I clean the surfaces today. I probably shouldn't. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just cut bits off. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what I do with that later. <laughs> Oh, it's an utter shambles. It's fine. Chuck that there. No one needs that. So now we're going to heat the butter. We're not going to melt it. We're going to soften it. Because we need to put it in the microwave, as the old whatever her name is. Nigella Lawson says. The microwave. So I only put it on for like 30 seconds. Make sure to follow it. I'm going to quickly take you off. Oh, actually, I am actually going to do that, yeah. I'm going to take your off the camera for a second so i'm gonna check out what i need to do and then i'll be right back i'm back and welcome to shambles cam <laughs> so i've called it so i weighed out my sugar it was 75 grams of each i ended up putting less of the brown sugar in because you know trying to be healthy so i put less sugar in your stuff not that it makes any difference whatsoever also i now know the um amounts that i need and i've also got the butter some of it is turned to liquid so i might drain the liquid out which i will do now i'm gonna stop it and i'll be back and then 
I'll put the butter in and I'll show you what Hello. happens there. I'm back and I just moved the camera accidentally. I've drained the liquid out of the butter and it's also very soft. You see that? You see that? I can't see if you can see. <laughs> We're gonna cube it a little bit and then we've got to put this in here with the 150 grams of both the sugars combined. I'm gonna put this in there. Washing up. Not that I've actually started doing it yet, but we've got to cream this together. So basically it's got to look like buttercream. And if you don't know what buttercream looks like, I don't know what's wrong with you. Basically you've got to make it look really wispy and really light and fluffy. So like the consistency if you put loads of sugar in butter and it was really soft. <laughs> so basically what you're doing is just mixing it up and trying to combine the sugar. And I would suggest doing this to get it in. <laughs> And then uh, we just gotta mix this together. Basically, this is very exciting, I know. I'm gonna keep waffling so I can make this video interesting for you guys. Um, I don't know how interesting it's gonna be, but this is almost there. I just need to combine all of it. It literally does not take long. I'm also supposed to add vanilla essence, but basically, I can't find our one. I literally, We literally bought more because I needed it for food prep. Sorry, this is probably really loud. <laughs> I'm gonna get a teaspoon and just scrape it off. Just scrape it off, scrape it off. Now, this is a part I would suggest not trying to eat this because this is probably gross and also really unhealthy for you. So please don't do that. <laughs> I also need another teaspoon in for the bicarb and I could have just used that. Great. Okay, this is pretty much it. It's basically got to become a mixture. There we go. I'm a great baker. I literally do food GCSE. Can you tell? Um, <laughs> I mean, baking, like, celebrity bake off just finished, right? Baking is supposed to be fun. You're not supposed to be perfect at it every time, especially if you're not a, like, an actual baker, baker. Like, if you're an amateur, bake whatever. Like, literally, it's not that difficult. Just make something easy. And also, under time pressure in the bake off, it's a lot worse. And doing it at home oh this is amazing right this is perfect this is what you want it to look like pretty much it's gonna be nice and it's all combined basically there's sugar in the butter and it is not healthy <laughs> right i'm gonna now add i'm pretty sure this is right now add half a teaspoon do not get teaspoon and tablespoon mixed up in your recipe please because a tablespoon is going to do a lot more than half a teaspoon and you don't want loads to happen because it's not like a cake you don't want it to rise like a beast okay this is about half and i'm gonna do that there we go so you want to make sure you read it right so tsp is teaspoon little information for you lot and the other one <laughs> tbsp is tablespoon Okay, now this looks pain. I'm going to have to check the recipe again because I don't know what I do after this. So, I'll see you in a second. Well, I've made a mistake, but we move. You know what? We move. I was supposed to add the egg in before the bicarb, but that's fine. I don't think it really makes much difference. So, I'm also just going to quickly take this off. Using the back of my spoon, because actually that's a lot better than using the front of it. Because in the front of it, all the stuff goes in there. And I've just realised this whole thing is just me waffling <laughs> while mixing stuff. I appreciate you being here. So, I need an egg. I'm trying to drop it on the floor. So, if you are like young Gustina and you literally cannot crack an egg for your life, get someone else to do it. There's no shame in not being able to crack an egg. Although, I will shame you because you're awful. No, I'm joking. Some woman came to my door and that scared me. Ah! I'm home alone right now, this is why I'm so terrified. Shit. <laughs> we're gonna move. I just swore really loudly and we're gonna pretend like no one ever heard that, okay. So, I cracked the egg. And I cracked it a little bit too hard. And it went everywhere. <laughs> um, I'll be back. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna edit that out. It was just one swear word. I'm really sorry for that. But, oh my god, it's too much effort. Okay, I've got egg. <laughs> oh, it's not everywhere. It just shocked me. <laughs> oh, we've got to have a giggle. We've got to have a giggle. With times like these, you've got to have a giggle. Now, I'm pretty sure this is right. You've just got to mix the egg in. It may look gross, but in the end, it will taste amazing. Always does. Now, <laughs> look at it, it's gross. It will be fine. When we add the flour in, it'll look sexy, okay? Yeah, make sure <laughs> you don't get any egg in it. You, well, <laughs> no, you want the egg in it, you don't want the shell in it. <laughs> I've had an absolute howler, lads. I've had an absolute howler. And yes, my language has changed a lot. I've, st I've been streaming a lot, so I've been sounding more like a roadman. And also... <laughs> and also, I've been swearing on my Twitch. So if you're young, don't watch my Twitch. Okay, now I need to... I know I should sieve it, but I don't care. I need 180 grams of plain flour. So this is what I love about baking. I just don't care. As long as it tastes good, the process is just a giggle, okay? In my GCSE food, teacher's like, come in prepared, know what you're doing. And I'm like, ha, no. And I always get a good grade, because it always looks amazing. So, life lesson. The journey isn't always the cleanest and tidiest, but when you get to it, it is amazing when you get to the finished product it will be great it may look like a dog's turd but it's fine it may taste amazing and this is <laughs> just pure waffle at this point <laughs> okay we're getting there this bit gets a bit harder because it's a lot thicker it said this makes 10 cookies how big are these cookies that people are meant to be making i'm making smaller ones because I want these to last, because I'm eating them during my stream today. Obviously, that's why I'm making them. Num that. Um, ooh, this looks good. You want to make sure it's all combined before you put... Oh, wait, no, you don't. You don't. Make sure <laughs> you grab your... Um, whatever you're putting into it. So you can... You don't need chocolate chips. You can have chocolate chips, chunks, broken up bits of chocolate, Smarties, M&Ms, Skittles. Well, don't actually put Skittles. That sounds gross. But... Whatever you want to put it in it, whatever you do, please do not put vegetables in it because that's weird and I don't get you. I mean, unless you're making beetroot cookies or something, I'm going to try a couple, you know, taste test. You want to poison yourself with it. That's what I love about baking. And I'm making, oh my god, that's a lot of smiley. Hey, it's a blue one. Left last, just for me. Okay. God, these are wham. <laughs> It was rainbow. See, that it looks cool. Favourite part of cooking? Eating along the job. I mean, if you're cooking for other people, wash your hands. You know, no secondhand fingers, also corona. So, you know, be careful. But, if you're on your own, do a little bait. You know, have some food. Treat yourself. I love doing that in the middle of the... <laughs> I'm going to keep waffling, waffling on. In my food prep, I always stand there eating food after I've done everything and then, you know, it's fun. I like to eat stuff. Specifically food. <laughs> uh, I've also got two bit line trays, if you couldn't see behind me. Uh, so, I'm ready for making the cookies. I'll readjust the angle that you guys... Oh my god. I cleaned this kitchen before as well. I am a good child. I do clean. Make sure you do your chores, kids, and then you'll get rewarded, okay? If you don't get rewarded, say I'm not doing them. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Do your chores. Be good kids, you know. Also, rule. If you're cooking, make sure to wash your hands first and clean your ingredients. Baking. Make sure to wash your hands. Do not wash your ingredients because I'm pretty sure you will have no ingredients left. Oh, look at this. I think this is actually the best cookie dough I've ever made. And I love some cookie dough, not gonna lie, I actually love it. Don't eat the cookie dough, or at least don't eat loads of it. Because especially as it's got raw egg, I mean if you did it without the egg, because you can, I think you can substitute with the milk or just water. 
I feel like milk would be better though. Um, please don't eat loads of it. Or just don't eat it, please. All right, I'm gonna readjust this angle. I'm gonna show you what I've made, actually. This is the dough, full of Smarties. It looks pang. I'm gonna make some cookies now. Only just now. <laughs> Only just now am I gonna make the cookies. Okay, goodbye. Okay, yeah. I've just readjusted the angles like a pro. Hold on. Again, I've now moved you, but we're ready to make some cookies. Okay, actually, I'm gonna move this over here. The angles are obviously awful. Top tip, I like to do this. I don't know about anyone else. You could probably use butter, but when I put my paper down, it never stays. So what I do, dab a bit of water from your kitchen cloth, and I like that, dab it a little bit, you know, get a bit of water on there, get a bit of precipitation, add a bit of moisture. <laughs> and then put your paper on top. To be honest, it's only water, it's not going to kill you, and also it then sticks down. So, very good top tip, and also it will dry off anyway. So, I'm going to put this in the wash, oh actually I'll put it there for now. So, I've got myself a tablespoon and I've got myself a teaspoon. So what I'm doing, getting a teaspoon like that, I don't need the teaspoon. <laughs> Don't do that. I mean, I barely touched it, it's fine. So, make sure your hands are clean for this bit. This bit's gonna get messy. Basically, take a ball of it. Make sure, you, if you wanna make them even, put them on a spoon. Go like that. This is Tekka's, Tekka's right here. And then you go, boom, and you slap it down. Look, these are actually the best cookies I think I've ever made. And I'm so proud of it. So keep doing that. Keep grabbing a tablespoon. I mean, if you want to do teaspoons, do tiny cookies. I mean, you'll be here all day. But I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I'm going to keep waffling to make this even longer than it has to be. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. You just got to make those. Make sure to leave a gap between them and make sure to squash them down enough. Because you know what you don't want? You don't want fat cookies connecting together. You want them to stay apart. Because they're like Romeo and Juliet, okay? They can never, ever, ever be together, okay? Now, I'm going to move that there. There we go. See, you want about three on a row, depending on how big your trays are. For me, that's how big mine are, just to give you some perspective. Mine are very big. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> so make sure you do this for all of them. I'm going to probably do this and then I'll get back to you and then make sure you did preheat your oven by the way it's 180 degrees I said it earlier make sure you've done it because this is a very quick recipe and it's amazing and it works so I'll see you in a bit okay so I've got my two trays I've got my love heart cookie here actually I've made way more than 10 I've made hold on 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 I've made 14 all tablespoon size I mean, the tablespoon wasn't that big, and at the end, they were a bit smaller, admittedly. But they look amazing, and I'm very ready to put them in the oven. Make sure to have some supervising if you're a child, and also make sure you don't burn yourself. So I'm going to put these in, and I think it's about 10 to 15 minutes. That's usually what it is, or until it's golden brown. That's what I basically go for. Make sure you're using... Uh... Is there another trainer? Okay, well there was another train and I didn't realise that. I literally checked it, but oh well. Make sure you use mittens or whatever. But you know, because I'm a straight savage and also I do it for GCC, so I know what I'm doing. And I know I'm gonna be careful, I'm not gonna stick my hands in the oven and burn my fingers off, okay? Also, please do not mind the skin day we're having because the skin is not going well. Also, the lighting. Ooh. The lighting hits different here. Okay. So leave those to bake until they turn golden brown. And I'll be back later when I'm putting Hello. Them. I'm back. I've just pulled the cookies out of the oven. I left them and they're all nice and golden brown. Can't really see loads of the colours from the Smarties in there. I mean, you can see a bit of the pinks in there. You can see a bit of colour. I mean, that one's now white. So that's great. I'm going to let these cool on the cooling wire. So we're going to transfer those over. I'll show you me doing that. Make sure you let them cool. Do not eat them straight away because your mouth will burn. The chocolate inside will be very hot and you do not want a burnt mouth. Trust me, it's Hello. not fun. So I've got the cookies. I'm going to take them off the tray, put them on the cooling wire. Basically, I think these went really well. I mean, one of them... 
got the love heart. It didn't look like a love heart. This is the love heart. I'll show you in a minute. It does not look like a love heart, basically. Um, they look amazing, though. I think these look like my best cookies. Like, honestly, they're even. I think it's because the dough went really well. And then also the fact that I, you know, did equal kind of measurements of everything. So I think these are a banger. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure these are the best cookies that I've ever made. I mean, it's a great moment because basically it's for my cookie crew, for my stream later. So yeah, I'm going to keep plugging my stream. It's at 5pm. It's for 12 hours. Yes, 12 hours. <laughs> From 5 to 5. Looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll see everyone there. If I don't see you there, I'll come over with my spatula and my cookies and I'll kill you. <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> I will find you and I will kill you. Because I don't... Don't me. At me. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tray um but yeah these are my cookies it's gonna be a fun making a thumbnail with these because i'm gonna have to wait until they cool down yay <laughs> make sure you be careful and make sure you do let them cool down because otherwise you're going die. okay right next step do the washing up i mean you could have done it while you know they were baking but make sure you do your washing up make sure to clean up after yourselves and i think they went pretty well i'm gonna show you the finished product of all of them they're all on the cooling wire at the moment which i'm very happy about and yeah that's pretty much the video but i might do a taste review might i'll give it a minute i mean one batch of them has been out longer these ones have been out longer oh my god look at them that was green <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you them all laid out. This is the love heart. <laughs> you can see <laughs> You can see the tiny divot, but they look great. Oh, what the hell? Oh, for the thumbnail, get a glass of milk, some cookies, a little selfie, you know? But these are the cookies. I think they look amazing. Like, these look like cookies you would get in, like, Tesco's, and I'm very happy with that. So... We're gonna give one a try. I'm so lucky you can't see my legs right now because I'm half squatting and I look like an idiot. But we're gonna break this bad boy open. It wasn't a snap, but I don't care. I do like a slightly gooey cookie. It's not gooey though, but. I mean, it tastes like a cookie. It's great. Well, the face I'm pulling is questionable, but not that bad. I mean, I'll eat them. Hmm. Let me get that on here. One thing I will say, they're a little bit grainy, so I would suggest not putting all the sugar in. I mean, not that the sugar's really needed, I mean, it's just to make it a cookie, to make it sweeter, but it is very grainy. But I don't mind that, it tastes good. The flavour's nice, I mean if I had vanilla extract it would also taste better, so make sure you have that as well. But yeah, that was a success I would say. So hope you enjoy the rest of your day, have a great day, great week, have a great life, okay? Oh, it's positive vibes after those cookies. Make sure if you are gonna, well, make sure if you have Twitch, go check out the Twitch, it's Ellis Gaming 4921 Make sure to be at the stream later. If you don't have Twitch, go get it right now because you're going to want to watch my Twitch streaming. I will tell you, there is swearing in it, so just pre-warning. But if you bake these cookies at home, please do DM me your pictures on Instagram or message me in general to the channel Instagram, which I will put here. We'll put it up there. <laughs> I'm holding up the Instagram. Go follow the Instagram now, okay? Right, goodbye. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>